Welcome back. This is the Jackson Neal Music Podcast here on SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, and now YouTube. So go subscribe and check out all the feeds wherever you want to listen. And on today's episode, I want to touch on something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. And now with his first music video released following his untimely death, I want to make my some of my thoughts clear on XXX Tentacion, um, on him as an artist and him as a person, especially now that his music video "Sad" has just been released. I want to give my thoughts, my reaction on this video first and foremost, because watching this, we know that X he's only released two music videos, I think, this and "Look at Me," um, in his career, and we knew from "Look at Me" that he was in terms of music videos he was not afraid to hide from controversy. He did a, you know, he showed a, you know, had a lot of different things going on there whether it was the look at me part or the riot part or the parts of um kind of the, you know, the police brutality. There were so many things going on there. Him talking at the end, it was his music video that really took you all over the place and showed just how much creativity he had as, as an artist. And for this sad music video, going into it, I expected something similar. Especially when I knew the song was about three and a half minutes long or so, and I saw the music video was six minutes long. That it had to be some, you know, something much, much more than just playing the song, because X, X seemed to put a lot of his effort and a lot of his time into making these music videos, into making them more than just videos with the song playing in the background, but more as short films that were creative and kind of showed the overall feeling he wanted to convey with his tracks and with this sad music video it's no different it's this video that has this very dark um, feel to it there's these eyes staring at you when you first watch the video there's these captions of words asking questions about yourself uh, that, that are all from what is your name to what is your blood type to it it, it, it gets very personal really de- delves into you and has you know these crescendo loud noises at certain points but basically what it is, is he, you see X going to a funeral, and in that casket is what looks to be him, you know, it's a stunt double, with his old hair on it. And that old hairstyle of the kind of yellow and half yellow, half black hairstyle. And throughout the video, he's kind of fighting with, with this with this um this person. At first, it's just kind of this physical, this physical fighting, punching and stuff, and is showing him, I guess, kind of wrestling maybe with, with his, what his old self was. The old self that, you know, got into a lot of trouble. We, we, we all know about his, his um, the allegations brought up against the, the stories that have been written against us, the pictures, the evidence uh, of what he, of his domestic violence and his, you know, his abusive natures towards his former girlfriend. And you can't ignore that. When you look at him, even as an artist, I feel like you can't ignore that when it's that vivid, when we know that much information, when we can a- see the pictures and see all the evidence, you can't deny that. And what it shows with, with this part of the music video shows when he's fighting with this, what seems like fighting with his old self, it is wrestling with with that part of himself. Is wrestling with that kind of demon of himself and trying to fight back. And at first, it's just, you know, a fist fight. Um, maybe kind of, you know, how he used to deal with problems. You know, we, we always saw videos early on in his career. There was tons of videos of X getting into fights early in his career. That He, he talked about that in interviews. He was notorious for getting into fights. And, but later on, it gets, you know, he's, he's then talking to this kind of shadowy, shadowy figure where even though it's this dark setting and it's the hooded figure, he's kind of kneeling before it, the figure's talking about bringing peace and joy, which is, you know, not what you would think of a, of a kind of image like that. And you see, you know, you see him, the figure tell X to, you know, use his mind against it. And then all of a sudden X is able to just basically throw away, you just toss around and beat up this former, his former self and defeat his former self all by just kind of like, you know, almost using like the force, I guess. But I guess, but the more creative idea in there is to say, look, you know, his old ways were just kind of maybe kind of small-minded just fight and punch and scrap and do it that way but you in order to get rid of your old self you have to do more than just change the way your hair looks do more than just maybe get a new tattoo you have to actually change the way you think and change the way you, you act and it's much deeper than that and for for a man for 
I mean, it's hard to call him a man. He was just 20 years old when he when he passed away. For basically a kid who had this terrible past, who had this, who had done horrific things, but had been making an effort to change. This music video, while eerie in tone, because if you look at, you know, you just look at all the stuff that's going on, but just put in context that he had, you know, he had he just passed away. When you take a look at all that, it just bring it just brings me a lot of sadness, I guess you could say, in terms of what could have been. Because I'm a big believer of if you do the crime, you have to serve the time. And for X, the evidence is overwhelming, and we we can't say for sure because the trial did not go on. But it was leaning towards the fact that you know he was he was looked like he was guilty of committing this crime. And when that happens, you you have to serve it. You have to go and serve that jail time. But but also, he was just a kid when he committed that. He deserved the chance to serve that time and maybe use that as a spot to change. What he did was horrific, and he needed to be punished for that. But that doesn't that shouldn't strip him away of his life. That shouldn't strip shouldn't be the reason he gets stripped away of um, getting a chance to change. Maybe he would have been put away for a decade or so. I, I really don't know that much about this legal his legal battle, but even if he was put away for a long time, maybe his music career would have ended. But as a person, he should have had the opportunity to grow and learn from that. Because he's a kid who came from terrible circumstances. And he committed a horrendous act, and you can't overlook that. And if he committed that crime, he needed to have gone to jail for it. But also, kind of the point of our judicial system is you do that time for that crime and then you get set free and the hope is that you did the time you served your punishment and hopefully you can move forward and become a better person because of it and it seemed like x was already starting to take those steps and the sad part is we'll never really know if he would have been able to complete that transformation to complete to fully serve what he should have done and then move on for it and become a better person because we know he he started to do these charitable works that were that were fantastic and really good and he was doing good things with his wealth. But yet he still had that dark cloud looming overhead from his actions of his past. And this music video is just a very, it's it shows off just what he could be as a creative force and it's a music video that I want to watch several times in order to really grasp the full extent and it's just saddening of the um of how his life was taken away because yeah at the end of the day he was a 20 year old kid that's not that old so many people do ter- you know y- terrible things when they're younger they pay the price for it and then they move on and become more mature and older i'm sure you could find a dozen examples of people like that and it's just sad to see that x was not would not get the chance to see the other side of it got to get the chance to see it all the way through to get to the point where he had served his time and could fully move on and become a better person. Because from all the actions and all the quotes and everything he had been saying towards the end, that's what it seemed like he wanted to do. And this music video should be one that I think we all, that you watch and you try to pick apart as much as possible. And I think that's, you, you almost have to do that when somebody passes away because this is some of the, this is going to be their, the lasting impression we get from them. As of right now, it looks like we have Look At Me and Sad as only two music videos. And both of them are just creatively incredible in how in, their, in the scope of themselves. I'm just sad that we can't see him continue his career because he, I think he still had a lot ahead of him. I still think he had the opportunity to, to change because even if he had a ser- to serve a decade in jail to serve the time for his crime, he still would have had a lot, the majority of his life ahead of him to change and become a better person and do what he could with his wealth. Because I know, and from all the things he's been putting in place for his legacy, that's what it seems like he wanted. So I'm going to watch this video a couple more times and see if I can get the most out of it. But this is just my initial reaction. And it's tough to see it because he was an artist who whose music definitely touched my life. But also... I, you know, as a fan, you have to recognize what he did and come to terms with that and and say that, can you separate the artist from the person, the music 
than the actual person and what he did. And that's what always seemed to be the difficulty with X. And even now, I guess, um, as this release following his passing, we're still getting that. You know, trying to decipher this music video and figure out all the things that it means. X, you always had to look at it from a different angle. You always had to look at it and think about it with him. And I think that's what this music video does. That'll wrap it up for this edition of the Jackson Neal Music Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, you can check this out about three to four times a week along with the Jackson Neal Sports Podcast right here on SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, and YouTube. Also, check out the Anything Goes with Jackson Neal podcast in the same feed as all as this one, where you can find all my interviews with musicians. My latest interview with Tala, the British musician who just released her single Stay Here in the Sun, that is up right now, so go check that out. That's from the radio show, Anything Goes with Jackson Neal, on 107.9 FM in southern New Jersey on Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. The podcast is released directly following the show. And on the show, you can listen in live online, anywhere you have an internet connection. WRMLradio.org on Tuesday mornings, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's in Eastern Time. You can catch all the interviews and all the music. The interviews are in the podcast, all archived in case you want to go check those out. Follow me on social media, at JacksonNeal20 on Instagram and Twitter. Neil, N-E-I-L-L, 20, at JacksonNeal20 for those. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you all next time.